who doesn't want to go to foreign? If you don't want to go foreign, something wrong with you. Cause me did want to go foreign, so me did excited like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's up it's your grand maya and welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome please go right ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can be a part of the family to support the girls so and thanks right there so and tap that notification bell so you can be notified when i drop a new video y'all are not gonna want to miss these videos trust and believe i have some really really good content written down you know, I'm just working for everything to flow. Let me just finish the intro. And if you're not new here, welcome back. It is so good to see y'all. So today, I'm doing a sit-down video. And I think it's, well, based on the title down below, I think this is the right time to put out this video. Because, you know, we're in August. And then next one is September. And once September drops you know it's time to start like register up september is the month where everything begins let's let, let's just say that okay let me just say that all right so obviously you can see i'll be talking about how to participate on the j1 cultural exchange program aka j1 work and travel program I've been on the program two times. My first time was my first year in college, university, 2019. And then I am now on the program here in 2021. Yes, with all of the panoramic and everything we've won. I'm over here. In other, in other Miss R, she. Right. So, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys, especially jamaican students i know that this video will be very very helpful if if it do reach like the asian countries the european countries because they do participate on the program too i also have other caribbean countries but i'm mainly targeting my jamaican students especially the freshmen especially the new new batch of students that will be taking on the whole tertiary level education okay so let me just start off by saying once you reach university you'll be hearing about work and travel work and travel you might have relatives that have been on the program before you just have to know about the thing and i didn't know about it until university all right you do have persons that know about it from high school because you know them have brother sister or cousin or whatever friends that are older than them that you know attend the university and they did um take up the opportunity of traveling to the u.s to work and also gain the whole american cultural experience right so you're going to want to like who don't want to go foreign who doesn't want to go to foreign if you don't want to go foreign something wrong with you because me did want to go foreign so me did excited like you know what i'm saying so I took up the initiative to do my research and my first time on the program i had a close let me just say a close a very close friend that went on the program the the summer when i was supposed to start university so she had the whole experience she was there to guide me like she answered all my questions she assisted me with locating an agency uh -uh. but I'm here to help help I'm here to help y'all. The the part one, trust me, I'm not good at English because y'all must know this by now. <laughs> but I must still try. But um yeah. So first thing first, once you hear about work and travel, the first thing that you're supposed to do is do your research. Go on Google, find out what is work and travel, the main reason for work and travel. A lot of persons think oh it's to make money, but really and truly the number one thing about the work and travel program is to gain the american culture experience participate in the cultural activities that america has to offer then the money well the money aspect will be coming first because you know you'll be placed in a job 
to work and you'll be paid and then you know some person save part of their money and others will like the spending money then they'll you know go out and explore the american culture which is good which is what you're supposed to do don't be money hungry and come over here and work 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 and i'm gonna win i'm gonna look a movie i'm gonna look a mall don't meet a little friend like no because it is a cultural exchange program okay all right so you do your research you have an idea of what the program is about then it's time for first thing first pause let me backtrack a little the requirements how to know that you are qualified to participate on the j1 work and travel program first thing first you have to be enrolled in a tertiary level institution college community college university no high school no high school picnic can go ncu ue utec brownstone community college portmore community college um once it's anything after manata bono maths unlimited and no, no distinction call it no no once it is that anything after high school has to be tertiary level this is where you go for your degree your yeah your degree where anywhere that offers degree programs and you're enrolled there at a full time not a part-time student you have to be full-time to participate on the program then you have to be 18 years or older to participate on the program so for first year students you know you have two semesters per year so the september to december semester that is when you will be doing the application and everything but once your transcript drops for that semester then that is when your gpa will come into play and the north majority of the local agencies um in order for you to go on the program you do have um i'm i'm, I'm going ahead of myself you have to have a gpa of 2.0 most of them and i've seen some that it has to be 2.5 and above so 2.0 to 2.5 then the courses section knows Based on what I've experienced and what others have experienced, you have to be doing four or more four or more courses per semester. Yeah, four or more courses per semester. I think you have to have like a minimum of 12 credits, 12, 12 or more credits per semester to be able to participate on the program. I think it's 12. Yeah. Um no police record like you should not be involved in any criminal activities because when the whole documents come into play and then you have to do a questionnaire part about any criminal history and all them like i don't know if persons who have a criminal record have been on the program probably probably not i don't know but yeah just no criminal can go right this way um yes so those are the requirements so the next step for you to do is to choose the best let me stress it the best local agency no there are numerous amount of agencies in jamaica a lot in different parishes also a lot a lot a lot a lot but listen you have to do your research and you also have to ask around ask people like hey you've been on the program what do you recommend the company that you went with uh, 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 uh. some of these companies are scams and you don't want to be caught in that because you'll be losing a lot of money so ensure that you ask around you speak directly to someone that works for the like I don't really know i don't really know the titles of the persons in the local agency but in try to speak to somebody i also get feedback from other persons that have um worked alongside with these local agencies now personally i was supposed to be on the program in 2020 but because of the whole you know everything happened boom they cancelled the program on me and i thought thousands of that's hundreds hundreds of people 
get cancer and lose money right that was back in 2020 so i have experience with three local agencies 2019 i went with itce international travel cultural experience or something like that i don't i'll put the full the meaning and the acronym somewhere on the screen 2020 i went with irss i think it i don't remember their name neither i'll put the full <laughs> name i just know the acronym irss and now i am on the program with first class cultural experience and you see my face light up do you guys see how my face is lighting up right now because out of all the three agencies that i've mentioned first class is the best i'm gonna ask why it's like this one first class first class is the best and why i say this is because i have experienced bias biasness with the other two agencies lack of communication professional professionalism zero well not really zero but them never ready them never ready hell and powder house but you see first class them keep you up to date them keep you in the loop them treat they treat everybody equally no biasness no no at the first time i've been with the program and the process was smooth i didn't have to sit down and wait like my pay my money them just them on your them sanjay big up sanjay nicholas big, big up the whole first class team trust me first class cultural experience hello but yeah let's talk about that first class trust me like i'm telling you i had so much questions even 12 o'clock in the night don't do this to no guys but i'm telling you how professional they are and how much they care about the students that have registered with them 12 o'clock at night me i get response like my message them like when i message them 12 o'clock me get response 1205 they weren't annoyed they answer all my questions like them go the extra mile trust and believe so i would definitely definitely recommend first class it primarily it was a lifeguard based pro um agency but um no they do non-lifeguarding jobs so them are the creme de la creme them do everything now yeah um but i do have others like summer choice work um you work and travel what overseas work and travel i think i hear about some social global something tons just do your research guys there are a lot a lot a lot a lot of local agencies there just ask her you have swat by ue you have sora by utec there there are a lot of companies guys but i personally would recommend first class to anybody i'll put their um information down in the description below so you can you know hit them up give them a call or email them they do have an instagram i'll put the instagram also down below because as i'm saying no is the time for you to be preparing yourself to venture off in the whole process to be processed to be able to participate in on the program in summer 2022 so yeah i have my little notebook with all the little pointers that i'm supposed to talk about so next step once you have located once you have find one I got a two in English. Surprise, I got so much. Sure to you. But once you're fine, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Can
can't talk to me though because I still put a script in at school. Uh, I'll put a script with a B plus. Mm -hmm. And girl can't talk English. And girl can't write English good. I'm going to get B plus in a crit. For all of you students, you must know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, once you find the best local agency, then you start the registration process. This is where they, it, they have it on their website. You register. You pay the registration fee. Um, oh, basically, oh, and also to let you guys know, anywhere that it, they have it on their website, you register, you pay the registration fee. Um, oh, basically, oh, and also to let you guys know, anything that you're paying, it's still going to be in the American dollar, the US dollar. So you can pay in Jamaican money, but just know so you have to convert it. So any bank that the local agency um it's affiliated with you know you do look at exchange rate that the bank has for that day and you convert your jamaican dollars to the usd because you know it's a us thing so you know what i'm saying um but ensure that when the days are just watch just watch the um exchange rate so you can catch it on a day away you know if you really park up too much jamaican dollars for it, for it to be converted to whatever amount of us dollars you're supposed to pay right you register put your information uh, 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 then you're i think you're supposed to wait on an email from them where you will create an account with the company a personal account where you upload the documents and all of those stuff i don't have to go all in details about that part because any email that you're receiving from them it will be so detailed about whatever you have to up upload so the email will have everything so i don't have to touch that because it's, it's not like you're on your own and you're wondering, what am I supposed to do? Uh, like, it's there. The email is there. And if you're not sure, you can always call the company and ask and they'll let you know. Um, then, once you finish uploading all the documents that they ask for, you start paying for your program fee. No, when you're paying for your program fee, the program fee varies. Based on what I've observed, every year the program fee it go it really it really is every year it is normally by a hundred dollars a hundred usd um with first class when i paid i i'm doing i am on the lifeguarding part of the the agency i don't do non-lifeguarding stuff so my program fee was 750 usds i don't know if yeah more yes going to raise i don't know if it's going to raise to 850 or whatever but just know every company they raise their program fee a program fee every year some non-lifeguarding thing it was like 1450 usds you have some company will go up to 2500 you know when i go with that can me in a piano 2500 but i think swat do that listen swat is a good company but your money have to up there swat is a very good company because i've heard so much good things about them but you just have to have the money because they're expensive um jamaica has this little thing like if you pay more than 500 usd into an into an account for the day the account will be charged and then the company will not cover those extra charges you have to pay for that extra charges because you are the one that is putting them in debt you know what i'm saying it has happened to me before back in 2020 with so-called agency Mm -hmm. I run go pay and me have to end up and pay the little fee um yeah but they say for the day i was thinking per person but i think for the day for the agency so i think the agency is not supposed to get but i'm not sure but they'll let you know and that's the little rule for us account um yeah so you're going to pay it in set in pieces probably it will be like four deposits four separate deposits or three separate deposits it depends on how much the program fee for the agency that you'll be going with is so for persons who haven't known about the work and travel program before starting college slash university try and have some money saved because thousand US dollar and a little bit of money that are over 
hundred thousand and you have other expenses you have to pay a registration fee you have to pay a program fee you have to pay a visa application fee then you have to go turn around and buy plane ticket plus you have to have pocket pocket money <laughs> you have to have pocket money when you come to the states you can't come broke you know work so if you're going on a trip you have to go zero dollar zero cent to the name i'm gonna go kill you the only way you can come like you can come with like a fifty dollar hundred dollar is if you have family members over here waiting on you to come and i do know back in 2019 i do come across persons that came with fifty dollars and then survived but guys i do not recommend that because any little thing can happen some persons they don't have family members over here so you're all on your own and sometimes you have to oop like some other companies they do send trans they do send transportation and a representative at the airport for you and some you live on your own like they just get the address and you have to either uber or lift there or take a train or something so ensure that you walk with enough money like walk with a good amount i was the 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 amount that is on the documents that you sign is 900 dollars trust me i believe the first time i went on the program i took are they eight? i think i did 800 usds i took i never need all of that i did not need all of that i was thinking oh i have rent deposit to come and pay i have my two weeks rent to pay food to buy when the company that I, the company that i was working for they took all of that out of the paycheck so i end up i have all of the 800 usd there not really all because i did go and buy like stuff like cleaning supplies food yeah so like the rent and the rent deposit they took that out of my paycheck so i didn't have to you know so they said carry 800 but you don't need so much to be honest you don't need that much i would say if you even take well it depends if if the company that you work for say hey upon arrival we are collecting xyz money make sure you work with the money but if you're if they don't say that, you don't have to work with $800. But if you want to work with $800, you can work with $800. Like, you know? Um. So, back that out. Whatever I was saying earlier before I stray. Um, if you know about the program before you started college and you know you want to go on the program, ensure that you have some money saved. Right? I said that before, yeah. Um parents do help out you have family members that help out and then it's a thing that i will not recommend to anyone but a lot of students do go ahead with this option loans i think you have some company that gives students loan to go on the program and you know you have to pay an interest interest fee and whatever whatever i don't want to put myself in that debt so the first time i was on the program a friend help me my my parents contributed i contributed the little that i had and you know i pay back that person once i started work and i was able to send them back their money when they asked for it but yeah the loan stuff if you want to go ahead and take a loan fine go ahead and take a loan because you will be making back the money to pay that loan so yeah but if you do have family members and your parents are very supportive and they have it can give you, you know, save good. And if you person, if you are a person that works and save or you have a little sugar daddy or whatever you have, or you're just born in the money, you're good. Right? If you're born with gold spoon in your mouth, you're good. Next thing. So after you register everything, pay a program fee. And you'll be given a job list for you to choose the job that you would like. No, when it's time to choose your job, you know, everybody want to go New York, whatever, whatever. Hold on, guys. I think my lip is dry. Where's my lip gone? Lip a lip dry. Uh, Y'all can't have dry lip, right? Let's go. Lip up a shiny. Lip up a moist. Right? Let's go lip up a kissable. Mm -hmm. Lip of the kissable. Lip my kissable. Alright, let's go. There is nothing called too much glow, ladies. I like when my lip look like frying pot. 
one half fried chicken. All right. <laughs> Jobless. Now, this is how America works. Each state have a different cost of living. I'm in the state of Virginia. Cost of living here is low. Then you have New York and Cali and those San Francisco, them big place there. But cost of living high, right? And cost of living, do you like a research? Basically, if you see a job and can pay a $15, $16 hour, just know that the cost of living for that state is high, which means your rent are expensive and food are expensive. So that's why they pay you that much to cover them expense there. Let me touch on housing. You have some company that do hire, but they don't provide housing. The companies that I work for, well, back in 2019, Kings Dominion, they had a dormitory, dorm, dorms they, that they owned. So they provide housing. The, um, I am with Continental Pools now. They're my employer. They provide housing. And you have some people, company, they don't provide housing. You have to come over here and find housing for yourself. It's crazy, right? Try to be in that position because that is hectic. And I would, I would never want to go through that. And for the persons that have been through that, I am so sorry. Probably it's a smooth process. Probably it's not. But the best thing is to choose uh, choose an employer that do provide housing. So, right, so. And be smart. If you want to get the $15 and $16 an hour, just be prepared for when you get that paycheck and you see the, how much money come out for rent or when you go to the grocery store, you see how much you have to pay for food. Just prepare yourself for that so when you see that all that money expense coming out. Plus, you have tax coming out. But you don't have to worry about tax because you will be getting back your tax returns in the tax period march march april but when you see the rent and the food come out of your money you're like, oh, no, I'm not getting the money. just know say you didn't want to go new york to work with it right um then after you have selected your job then it's time for you for your job interview slash you meet your sponsor your, like a representative for your sponsor sponsor is sponsor is the person sponsor but your sponsor is not your employer. Your sponsor are like, I know CIE is a sponsor. They sponsored me in 2019. And now I'm sponsored by United Work and Travel. They are the one that basically are responsible for you once you're in the US and they do provide you with an insurance. But that insurance only covers accidents that happens at the workplace. So no matter come over here and get sick and do all type of crazy something. And then when you go doctor, you, have, you see how much the bill come over. Oh, yeah have insurance and then you get boom you get an email your insurance do not come and then you have to go fuck up how much how much money to pay you know what I'm saying? work related injuries only the insurance cover so yes the job interview you meet a rep from the company that you'll be working for when you get here the interview is not really somewhere like what do you know about the company no they mostly like try and get to know you and like what is the purpose of you coming on the program them know you come to work but still mention i want to experience american culture meet new friends you know all of them look at something there um yeah and they'll do they'll do quizzes like do you know the the job your job title do you know the job description Hey, let me know. And if them said, do you have any questions? Me love talking and me want to stand out and make people know me. So I may always ask questions. Mm. If you don't have no question for asking, you can just ask. Just ask something. Just stand out. Don't be like dull and boring. Even if you know the answer, ask you me. Just to... You know what I'm saying? Um, you meet a sponsor. I think they'll... They, I didn't meet my sponsor this year but in 2019 i did go to pegasus hotel and then we do like one little presentation and then we move on to the job interview section but yeah we didn't do that some persons they have it face to face some persons it's via skype i've never had the skype job interview i have a friend a very close friend she did the skype one back in 2019 also but mine was um 2019 face to face this year I did not do a job interview. Didn't I didn't do one. I didn't do one at all. 
but yeah you know what boom 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 you don't talk more than likely you get the job um I, I have i haven't come across anybody that um not get the job you basically get the job from you pick the job you get the job let us see how it feels from you pick the job you get the job but still go there and you know be professional and dress professionally and all them stuff so the, you'll get emails with all of this like the company is going to let you know everything i'm just letting you know ahead of time then you're going to get like one little piece of paper with basically well some do some don't do whatever well this was face to face no you're not getting nothing everything that you email and you know what i said because the whole <clears throat> everything is just virtual and whatever then it's time for you to book your embassy date but right before you book well some people get this all right you book your embassy date you have a little time to prepare you you know you're supposed to carry a certain amount of documents but i'm gonna show you guys this is the document i received so you see united work and travel my name yeah you guys can see Maya Sawyer, my brother. Yes, the whole world knows my middle name is Sawyer. No, Sawyer. Yes, hi, I'm Sawyer. This is everything sponsor all your documents like your job offer form, your insurance. I don't want to show you guys like all my information and stuff, but a little message from the sponsor, then your insurance, and it shows what it covers. Um, basically that's it oh and your, your ds yeah this is a ds so this is like to be honest i don't really know what ds mean but it's like a very important document we like list out why you come to the states and all of them or something like who you're working for and you see this form everything we are going well part not everything but it's some of the documents that you'll need for your um visa in, interview so you pick the date and you prepare yourself now when I went with ITCE back in 2019, they had a mock interview where I went into the office and then pretend to be in Bosnia. Then basically help you, like how you're supposed to answer the questions. I will be doing how to get your J1 visa approved video soon. So look, probably it's the next video after this. I'm not sure. You know, probably I'm going to make it the next video after this because as I said before, this is the period now where you're supposed to saddle up yourself, prepare yourself to say, yeah. I want to go and work in shop. I'm going to register in September. Ah, ah, ah. So I want the videos available. So, you know, if... Because I went on YouTube too. And I came across some very good videos. So I want persons to come across my videos. And I hope that it's helpful to them. Probably, like, answer some of the questions that they have stored up in the head. Or not. They didn't get the chance for it to be answered. You know what I'm saying? So, I just hope this video help, help a lot of you guys. Trust and believe. I'm saying everything, it's not, there are other things there, but I can't really say everything in the video. You can just ensure so you can hit me up on Instagram, ask me any question, I'll answer. I do have persons that have been DMing, DMing me, asking me questions, and I answer. I say, hey, I'm going to drop a video, check out my YouTube channel. Like, if you still have questions, hit me up, I'll answer it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, mock interviews, and then, you know, like, them answer questions, then basically prepare you how you're supposed to present yourself, or you're supposed to answer your questions once you give you a feel of what, it's, what it will be like when you stand up yourself back at the glass and you are being questioned. So, I'll do another video on that. And, boom, you get a visa. Boom, boom, boom. For, listen to me, guys. Listen to me. Do not book a plane ticket when you're not get the visa. Don't do it because they now get the visa. Embassy know everything, you know. Them they back them do them little research and everything. So if them ask a question, did you purchase a plane ticket? And you purchase a plane ticket and you're not getting a visa, no visa not going to your passport yet, and you're gonna say, No. Well, blah 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 blah. Denied you get oh I think a white paper you get. White paper. I think a white paper will fake when it denied. No, pink slip, you get a pink slip. Denied. Don't do that.
do not book a ticket and you do not know if you you, you were successful in the interview don't do it you're setting up yourself only book the ticket when you get this so when you get the the, the blue paper we we'll say congratulations see that that is when you go home the same day go book your ticket yes yes I'm going to jump the gun. Now, because you already have 10 year visa in your book, the 10 year visa did not help you on the program. Yeah. You need the J1 visa, which expire when your work date done. Yeah. Okay, guys. Also, I forgot to add um, persons that already have a 10 year visa may wonder will I be able to go on the program since I already have a visa? Yes, you can still participate on the program but your 10-year visa is not what you're going to use to enter the united states you still have to go through the whole embassy process of getting your j1 visa to come to the state so i do know persons who have their 10-year visa and um they still get the chance to participate on the program But yeah, and then you come to the States and that's it. It is not really a longer process, but but it's, it's worth it, guys. It is worth it. It's a very, very good, whoever come up with this, if I could have kissed him, I'm kissing him because you know how long you want more for him? Hmm? From a little pick me say, I'm a woman, I'm not come up for enough. <laughs> but yes, it is a wonderful program. It's a very good opportunity. And I hope that a lot of you guys will partake and have like make use of the opportunity. Trust me. So that is basically the end of the video guys don't forget i will be dropping how to get your j1 visa approved video soon so when you go you get the the blue paper yeah when you congratulate and you give them your passport and you go yeah. yes yes guys so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative and helpful to each and every one of you guys that are watching the video. If you have made it to the end of the video, please don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already liked. Why you have a sitting now? Watch out that much over. I know it's a 30 and probably 40 minutes video. And you know, subscribe. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Send this video to your friend. If you have a best friend, a brother, sister, auntie, uncle, send it in on a school class group. Like, please. If you don't know, know circulate my other videos, this is one that should be circulated because it is very, very helpful. It's very informative. It have everything you need for now. And if you have further questions that I did not, you know, probably not answer in the video here, you can hit me up on Instagram at Maya McGregor three underscores, and I will definitely respond to your message and answer any questions that you ask. So thank you guys once more for tuning into the channel. It was nice speaking. To I feel so happy because I know this video is going to help a lot of people. Come in a selfish, far enough for everybody. You see the people them who come a far in and live a far in and go on like said, you know, and nobody else come a far in. You're too dirty and you need for change. Far in for everybody. Right there, so. You can't determine who forgot far in and who forgot far in for everybody. Everybody for take play. And I saw me see. I'm an enemy. I want to take play. Yeah. I'm not going to hoard information. I'm not going to hold on to information. I'm not that type of person because I want to see everybody uplift themselves. Right there, so. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.